Hi everyone and welcome to floss tube number eight. Today I will not have a uh, update video. Today we're gonna do the stitchers tag. Now uh, I look. I went on online because I did this did a stitchers tag back in 2014. So I went online to look if there was any current, and I couldn't find any really current stitchers tags. So I made my own, and you will find the ten questions in the description down below. Uh, so I thought I'd just go through my answers to all the questions. I would really really love if you would uh, want to join me in with the stitchers tag. If you don't have your own channel you can always just answer the questions in the comment section down below. I would love to know a little bit more about who's viewing these videos. If you do have a floss tube channel and uh, are going to uh, answer these uh, please also notice that in a comment. I don't think you can link in the comments. However, you can always uh, write your Flosstube channel and uh, when you have uploaded a Stitchers tag. So I can go and visit you. I can go and look you up and visit you. That would be awesome. So, uh, first though, hi. If you're a returning viewer, uh, Thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me. Um, it warms my heart. If you are a new viewer, this is my cross stitch channel where I talk all about cross stitch. I usually show a little bit on my progress, what I'm working on, and all of those things. I upload new videos every Monday at um, six uh, Central European time, which I think is like twelve. Uh, Pacific time, the Eastern, Eastern time and um, 10 Pacific time. I think that is it. Don't quote me. I think that is it. The, the Central European time is correct. Six, six o'clock Central European time every time, every Monday. Um, but yeah, today uh, it is the Stitchers tag. So let's jump into it. So the first question is, um, how did you get into stitching? Now, I have gotten in and gotten out of stitching a couple of times. The first time I learned about stitching, uh, I learned it from my grandmother's. Um, I was really, really little, little child, like a little child. And the second time was probably in school. And the third time and the time it's uh, kind of stuck, I found a World of Crossing magazine in a magazine store and it was a cute little project and if I'm not mistaken I think the pro there was like this little free kit in it and the free kit was um, Eeyore which I never finished because I actually miscounted on that one but yeah I think that was the first uh, World, World of Crossing magazine I bought but yes so that was how I got into stitching. I fell in love with it though, so I just continued and um, that is uh, t since 2004 I've been stitching. So that's fun. Number two, how long have you been stitching? Well, fully, I've been stitching since I was five years old uh, and that is 36 years. But uh, I went back into stitching in 2004 and I was 23 then, so that gives it 18 years, I think. <laughs> math, trying to math here this Sunday afternoon. Um, but yes, number three, what's your favorite fabric? Um, my favorite cross stitch fabric at this moment is the Pewter 16 count Ida. Um, I think I, I love different kind of fabrics and such for different projects. However, uh, Ida, I do stitch a lot faster on Ida and the projects that I'm working on right now, like the um, Primrose, Cot uh, Primrose Cotted Stitches and the uh, Frosted Pumpkin Tree, they kind of lend themselves very much to work on Ida. 
uh, they have the little kind of blocky way how the design looks so I really enjoy stitching those on an Ida so right now my favorite is Ida 16 count or lower uh, or or higher so 16 or 18 is my favorite but 16 is what I have at home what is my favorite thread brand that is question number four uh, for me it's DMC like out of the park DMC uh, I love DMC uh, I love the threads I love how easy it is to get them uh, how easy it is just to pick up a skein because I can get them readily available here they are fairly expensive here so I usually pick them up when I'm in the US but um, still it's the same colors all around the world it makes things a lot easier and uh, I don't have to worry, I can wash them, all of those things. So, um, DMC. Number five, what is your favorite designer? Well, uh, right now I have two favorites, really like my big favorites, and that is Primrose Cottages and Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Those are the two like main projects that I'm working on. They have very nice Halloween and autumn projects. Well, Primrose have a lot of autumn projects and Halloween projects, and then Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery have a lot of Halloween and Christmas. So right now I'm in all of that, but I do like other uh, designers and other brands. Um, Soda Stitch is also one I love. Uh, those creations, they're beautiful. Um, I do have like Art to See, Heaven and Earth, those kind of patterns also in my stash. And I think Little House Needlework, I do have one pattern from, from, from that designer, uh, some Christmas patterns. So hopefully I can get started with them here um, end of October, starting of November. Number six, my favorite tool. Well, I'm not a very big at doing cross stitch tools. Like I have my needles, I have my scissors, uh, but they're more a convenient thing. Um, my Q-snap maybe, that might be my favorite thing, the Q-snap, because uh, that makes it possible for me to stitch double-handed, which makes things go so much faster. So yeah. That's probably my favorite tool at the moment. Number seven, are you a process or a finish, process stitcher or a finished project stitcher, I think we call it. Um, process, fin process stitcher being, do you stitch for the process? Like you, you like the design and you like stitching on it, but um, that it becomes a finished piece isn't as, as uh, important or are you project stitcher where you want to finish your projects and get them up on your wall give them as gifts and so on so forth um, I think I'm I'm both to a certain degree well like I like finished pieces uh, I like to create finished pieces I love the designs I want them on my walls but a big part of why I stitch is not for the finished piece I stitch because uh, it is very soothing for myself. I love it me mentally, it helps me a lot um, when I'm having an off day and I ha I'm low energy I can still stitch so that kind of helps me mentally to feel that I'm actually doing something. I'm one of these people that needs to be doing something 24-7. Uh, it's part of my personality, nothing else and uh, having cross stitch kind of helps me mentally to, to not get too depressed just because I'm sick. So yeah, um, number eight, are you monogamous stitcher or do you have all the whips? Or are you somewhere in between? I am somewhere in, the, in between. Like I do try to be fairly monogamous. As you saw, I stitched uh, the mysterious Halloween Town and the Three Pillows and I did them after each other so I was monogamous while I was stitching on those 
project. However, I do have other works in progress, uh, which I will put down when I don't feel like stitching on them anymore. Or if I, like now, I have a very like seasonal bug. I want to do all the Halloween projects and I feel like I also have a little bit of a kind of time constraint because I want them to be up uh, two weeks before Halloween. So I want to finish my last Halloween stitch before that is done. So I'm going to be monogamous to that and actually not work on my stitch alongs because of that. But at the same time, I do have all my stitch alongs. I have two Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery stitch alongs and I'm planning to start a stitch along in October. <laughs> um, Nicole Spore has a stitch along and I actually bought the fabric for it. Uh, like the first um, Fat Quarter Stitches project I did. So in there I have all the sows. So maybe I'm starting to be more more towards all the whips. But at the same time I try to have like genres. Uh, my I can only have one Halloween stitch at a time. I can only have one uh, Christmas stitch at a time. I can only have one full coverage Christmas stitch at a time, so on and so forth. Um, but you can fill up that with a lot of works in progress though. <laughs> you can. Um, number nine, pattern pa pa paper patterns or PDF patterns. I'm a PDF pattern as much as is possible, or digital pattern as much as is possible. I have my iPad. It's so comfortable when you have, when have having a more of a rough day and I can zoom into the project. It's to the degree that if I have physical ma magazines with patterns that I wanna use, I usually photograph them. I actually photograph all my patterns not the full pattern and I'm not doing like a big thing. I'm not sharing them anywhere or anything. It's just a copy for my own sake. So I copy them and so that I can zoom in them if I need to. Uh, it makes things so much easier. So if I can have a digital pattern, I want a digital pattern. That's kind of, kind of how I work. And then number 10 the last question and that is what is your favorite finished projects project um is really really hard if i look at all my finished projects over all i ever done i think that the blue dragon by heaven and earth is my favorite finish because uh I really enjoy stitching it and I really enjoy looking at it. However, I haven't fully finished it yet. I do have other co a couple of other uh, Heaven and Earth designs. Those are like proud finishes because they're so big. Um, I think the ladies are 300 by 600 stitches. So they're fairly big projects. Um, one of my absolute favorite right now is the one that I have here and that is the the autumn rules It is beautiful. I haven't put it on the walls, but I have put it like um, Towards the wall here and I can see it every day. So yeah Those are a couple of my favorites um, I think most of my finishes is favorites in some kind of way that was all the questions. If you want to partake in this too, I have all of the questions listed in the description down below. Um, and as I said, if you don't have a FlossTube channel but still want to join in, you can always just answer them below. And even if like, if you feel that it wouldn't fit on your FlossTube channel but you still want to answer them, just do it in the comment section. That, that works too. But I would love to see you uh, I would love to see you. So if you actually answer them on your on your own FlossTube channel, please let me know in the comment section and let me know your FlossTube channel so that I can jump over there and look too. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this, please thumbs it up. Any questions, just put them down below. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you like the video and you feel that someone else would like the video, maybe share it. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!